Welcome to Utah's video on our breakthrough technology for improved identity governance. We've created a new AI-based mechanism called the UATest Identity Trust Score. So the UATest ITS provides enterprises the ability to quickly identify suspect and untrustable accounts. To help explain this great new AI-based IGA solution, we have Garrett, our CEO, who will introduce the product, and then Kashif, our Director of Deployments, will give a quick overview. So Garrett, why don't you start us off? Thanks a lot, Ashley. Yeah, this is exciting time for you at test. Um, first AI integration into it, but let's put it in context. Gartner has something they call the identity fabric, and it's actually a pretty cool concept. It's saying, okay, there's a lot of components, a lot of companies, a lot of vendors, a lot of products out there in the identity space. And in the, in the past, we really haven't worked together. Everyone had their own silo execution. And what they're saying is to solve the ransomware problems, to solve identity hacking, we've got to work together. And what that means is traditional products, and you attest has been in the identity governance space, which is looking and a, 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 a attesting to roles. We've done 3.3 million attestations of roles, but let's take that information, that intelligence, and pass it on to other products. That's exactly what we've done. So here's our, we've been doing this for a while. We've been reaching into the IEMs and other identity stores, pulling information and having enterprises do user access reviews. We now use that intelligence, that 3.3 million user access reviews and built a score about intelligence, about information we pulled. What information is that? First of all, we have a group anomaly model. That is an AI base saying, what users, what you, the, your user, what groups are you in? And compare that to other people who are similar to you. If there's spikes and you're completely different than the others, which is AI's great at identifying, that's probably suspicious. Either you're overprivileged and you're not malicious and should be checked, or you are malicious and you probably did some privilege creep and, uh, and can now do damage to the enterprise. In addition, the enterprise gives you a test intelligence. It gives us a segregation of, uh, of duties. That is violations. Let's put that in the score. And lastly, we have someone that no one else has. We put into the identity trust score, when's the last time this user has actually been reviewed? Let's find those, those orphan and those ghost accounts. Let's put that into a score and make sure those are analyzed. Okay, and this is it. And Kashif will be showing this in the product, and then I'll come back and say how this relates to zero trust. Thanks, Garrett. So Kashif, can you run a quick demo? Sure, thanks, Ashley. Let me just go ahead and show my dashboard. Please let me know when you can see it. We see it. Great. So here's the UATest dashboard where you can see you can create all the application groups and user audits. But instead of going into that, let me just show you directly what we have introduced into the product recently, which is the identity trust score Garrett was talking about. So here you can see all the analytics uh, based on group anomalies, SAD violation, and uh, viewers that have been, you know, last reviewed maybe 90 days ago, 30 days ago. And then it gives you the level of risk each user, uh, each user has within the environment, low, medium, and high. And let's say if I expand upon the group anomalies, it will show me the high users, the medium users, and the low users. It's clickable, and once you do that, it doesn't. It it's it's not only showing you it's at high risk; it's showing you why is it at high risk and how you can remediate uh, that into a low risk or no risk, because it shows you, for example, there's a group anomaly here. This person or this ID has more access, in as compared to uh, other people in that same group. So either this is malicious or it's overprivileged that you need to look into and report it to somebody within the department or concerned department to look into this and remediate this. And same is the case with other SOD violation and the uh, last reviewed on. So if, for example, you have reviewed somebody 90 days ago, 
it will show it at high risk and you would need to pay attention to that to remediate that risk. Um, Fantastic. Yeah, and that's it, Garrett. If you, if you want me to go further, I can do, but this is, this is what it shows and this is what it shows you where to remediate. We'll give uh, contact information at the end and uh, the audience can reach out to us. Let me just wrap it up with Zero Trust. Okay, so Zero Trust, we hear, hear it all the time. What does it mean, et cetera? I think the best definition comes from the CISA, US CISA, Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency. And what they've done uniquely is give people a roadmap, a roadmap to Zero Trust. And they specifically spell out governance, identity governance in their roadmap. Let me walk it through and show you how this AI model helps to, to get in that journal. So governance, a lot of enterprises are still doing access reviews with spreadsheets and emails. That's traditional. Our product that we've done 3.3 million attestations are takes you immediately to the initial state. OK, because it allows you to automate those access reviews. The advanced state is you start turning on the U attest identity triggers and you utilize intelligence. Intelligence in the CISA words and the industry word means AI, AI based risk scores. That takes you to the advanced state. The optimal state is when you start taking this risk score and integrating it into your fabric, as we were showing. That's the path. And that's the path you attest can take you on to your zero trust journey. Take it away, Ashley. Perfect. So if anyone has any questions, feel free to reach us at info at uattest.com and our phone number is listed as well. Um, thank you all for being here. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Garrett. Thank you, Kashif.